Hello everyone. We are really looking forward to having you back with us next week. But before we get you back, we just wanted to send you a video to give you a little bit of reassurance about the testing process. We have had our testing centre set up for the last three or four weeks now. We've carried out over 700 tests. So anybody who will be carrying out the tests for you is already trained and will do an absolutely brilliant job. It is really important that if your parents have consented, you come in and you get the test done because we are helping everyone to be safer when we return to school. So good luck. We look forward to seeing you on Thursday and Friday for a return on Monday. Thank you, everyone. When you arrive at the test centre, you will need to enter via the sports hall gate. Someone will be there to meet and greet you. Hi, nice to see you. Okay, so the first question I need to ask you is, have you got any symptoms? By that, I mean, have you got a repeated cough? Do you have a temperature? Or has there been any change to your taste or smell? No? Excellent. So if you'd like to just carry on through, round to your right and somebody will be there to explain the next stage. You will enter the test centre via the fire doors to the gym. A member of staff will tell you when it is safe to enter the testing area. If it is busy, we may need you to queue up. So let's be really aware of the weather. Make sure you bring an umbrella and a warm coat and we'll ask you to queue at two metre distances. Of course, always wearing your mask. On arrival into the testing centre, you'll be greeted at the registration desk. You will be asked if you are displaying any symptoms today. That would include a high temperature, continuous cough or loss of taste or smell. Next, you will be asked to sanitise your hands again. Please make sure you are wearing your face covering at all times. Your parent or carer will have already completed a consent form to say you are able to take the test today. There are eight clearly numbered testing bays. These have been set up safely for you to take your test. The equipment needed to take the test is contained within the bay. The instructions of how to conduct the test can be found on the screen in front of you. At the registration desk, you'll be given a unique barcode. Once ready, you'll be directed to a bay Please stay inside the bay to conduct the test. Be sure to have your unique barcode ready to hand to the test assistant. The test assistant will be wearing relevant PPE to keep everybody safe. The test assistant will guide you through the testing process to ensure you are able to conduct the test yourself and that your test can be processed. The test assistant can answer any questions you might have. They are there to help and guide you and to reassure you whilst taking the test. Your test will be fast and while it might feel a little uncomfortable, it won't hurt you. To begin the test, sanitise your hands and remove your face mask. The area has been sterilised before you arrived. Take a tissue and blow your nose thoroughly. Dispose of the used tissue into the waste bin. Sanitise your hands again before you pick up your swab. Check the swab is sealed and then carefully peel back the packaging to reveal the end of the swab. Be careful not to touch the soft part of the swab. Open your mouth wide and use a mirror to look at the back of your throat. Then use the swab to rub firmly four times on each side. Remove the swab carefully without touching your teeth, tongue or gums. Gently place the swab about two to two and a half centimetres inside one nostril. Roll the swab four to five times along the lining of the nostril. This will take about 10 to 15 seconds. Your swab can then be placed in a tube for testing. This takes about 30 minutes. At the end of the test, you need to sanitise your hands and replace your face covering. You will then need to put any waste into the waste bin and take an antibacterial wipe to wipe down the area and anything you've touched within your bay.
So once you've done your test, follow on out this way. We'll ask that you leave straight away. We can't have any socialising, I'm afraid, because it's so important that we do keep the distance from each other. Your parents will then receive a text and an email to let you know if your test is positive or negative. Hopefully it will be negative and therefore we'll be able to see you back here on Monday. OK, for Monday morning, you'll come in the main gates entrance. Everybody who has had a test will come in that way and you'll go to your tutor rooms. We're so looking forward to seeing you.